Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I don't know if you can hear me. This is really testing this new uh, dead cat wind muffler microphone. It is very windy. I'm out on the beach. That's the ocean right there, Pacific Ocean in Long Beach. The reason I'm here is for this, this break wall thing, because that is going to be my stopping point for my hammer. And thinking a lot about the source of power and where power actually comes from in the golf swing. I've, uh, I don't know if I've discovered, but I've, I've concluded in my swing anyway, that uh, without a doubt, letting your right arm run the show is gonna be where the most power is gonna come from. Michael Malaska and some other teachers I had talked to wanted me to look at the, the motion of a hammer throw, right? I looked at the motion of the hammer throw. The problem with the hammer throw is uh, a hammer throw in the Olympics and everything else is a very, a hammer that you throw in the Olympics is a very heavy object. Once you get beyond like more than 10%, uh, more than 10% beyond over or 10% under what you're actually trying to do doesn't really correlate too much. So what I mean is that uh, if a golf club weighs whatever it weighs, I don't know, like 13 ounces, right? If a golf club weighs 13 ounces and in order to build some golf club feels in a, in a golf style motion, you're swinging something that weighs like a hammer throw thing, I don't know how much it weighs, like 13 pounds, you're working a completely different uh, a completely different set of muscles, a completely different way of firing and everything. It only really relates hammer throw to this type of hammer throw. And actually I was looking back at some of my old videos, I think one of the best videos that I did was actually a very underwatch video that I did with the hammer man. Because uh, I keep coming back to hand-eye coordination and, and I bought this when I was doing the hammer man's drills. And I think this could really help that. So that's what this is all about. I'm experimenting with where to aim the hammer. This, I think, correlates perfectly to the golf swing. If you look at really how to practice to get better, you need to be flip-flopping. So what would absolutely be perfect would be if I had this kind of situation at the golf range where I could throw this absolutely as hard as I, I wanted to with the right arm, uh, get the feeling of that, like do that once, and then flip over and hit golf balls, then go back to the, this feeling and then hit golf balls. This, I think, really will illustrate um, where I think uh, a lot of the power is coming from and where I know that uh, Jeff Flagg, who is uh, going to be participating in a bunch of stuff in the channel soon, gets a lot of his power. I know certainly Monty, uh, and when he uh, won, was getting a lot of his power from that right arm. And everything else was just kind of working reactionarily to that, was being in reaction to what the, you know, Monty, when he won, was trying to do this. David Duvall was talking about trying to do this. Jeff, I know, was trying to, like, like he's, he's pitching. So a lot of guys were asking, okay, well, if it's a throwing motion from the top, what type of throwing motion? Is it underarm? Is it, is it you know, sidearm? Is it skipping a rock? Well, I think this shows it the best. Plus, this is also probably the best backswing tool you can have for getting the idea of how to, if you can see that, getting the idea of how to deliver this, like that. A lot of kind of random thoughts, but that drill that I just did with the uh, hammer throw, I think is uh, exactly the type of feeling I'm trying to have in my golf side. Hey everybody, thanks for watching that. Uh, just a quick note to let you know that throwing this hammer is super dangerous. So wherever you do it, find somewhere where it's not going to rebound on you and it's not going to fly anywhere and uh, hurt yourself or anybody else and, or any property because this thing is uh, is not safe. So um, also the other thing too is you see where I'm, I'm aiming that hammer. Uh, I showed this video to Tony and to Jeff and Tony said that... Uh, he likes that a lot. He just wants to see me. Um, he thinks I'll get better compression on the ball if I aim 
the hammer as you guys saw in the title the titles during the video if I aim the hammer kind of knee high or even uh, mid thigh high so let's see just see you can see how much speed I'm trying to get into it and just trying to have the lower body be in reaction to that okay uh, just athletically feeling okay what do I have to do to throw this as hard as absolutely possible into this uh, sand thing with that kind of aiming point right here I was aiming yeah I'm probably shin high but I, I should raise it up just a little bit and uh, don't stop anything on the downswing let it all go thanks for watching everybody subscribe to this channel and uh, any questions or comments into the uh, section below talk to you later bye